In this video, we're going to do a very brief overview of the elements that are available in your report designer that comes loaded with your Metasoft program. So first we need to get to that. We're going to go to Reports, Design, Custom Reports, and Bills. And for this example, we're just going to go ahead and use a statement that we've already been playing with. Now we're going to see all the elements that are available and on this report right now. And here are the elements that you can add to it. The first one is a text element or a label. So you have to click on it to activate it and then plot it and then right click or double click to choose properties. And then you can do the label this way. You can do, let's just call it balance. And we want to do a transparent background. That's pretty much standard. What that's going to do is in case it bleeds over into some other element that it won't print over it, that everything will be nice and, and even. So we go there and we just put it there for now. Uh, if we want to move it up or down, we use our arrows to move it up or down, left or right, to get it aligned to where we want it. The next element we're going to look at is the data field. The data field is going to pull certain things. Uh, anything that's within the criteria that the report is written in, it'll pull from that patient. So this time we're just going to do the patient chart number. We'll just put it right there and the chart number, and we're going to click OK. And now that's going to go here, and we're going to do the same thing and align it up with this top field here. To line them up, you click the top element or the first element you want everything aligned to, holding down your Shift button, you click all the rest. Then you right-click and choose Align Fields, left side, OK, and everything gets nice and aligned. The next element we're going to look up is called a Calculated Field. Same thing, we're going to click on that and then plot it, double click to open it. We want a sum, we want to format this for money, and we're going to select the field, and it's also going to be patient, and then we're going to do patient remainder. Right there, okay, and then we're going to line that up with this balance one we did before. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is called a system data. That's where we can actually add something like a date or a time. Same thing with this one. Now it's doing current date format set by window. So whatever date your Windows is set on is what the date is going to print. So we're going to go ahead and it also gives you the, the label there. So we're going to put statement date right there. And then it's going to actually print the date afterwards. So we could put that right here. The next element that we're going to look at is going to be a shape field. Shape is the same thing as, as what it says, basically. Like here we have a square, here we have a square. And this one, it's also get to choose what type. If it's a rectangle, a vertical line, left to right lines, top and bottom lines, if we want it solid, if we want it clear, if how we want the border, we want it solid, the width, the size, all of that. And the same as any other element, we can resize it manually just by clicking on it and dragging the corners to whatever size we want. And if we want to put it right here, the next thing you'll see kind of covers up that other one. So we want to right click and send to back. So that way now it's always behind this other one. The last element is images. And we've explained that in another video of how to add a logo to your statement or your super bill in a different video. So you can check that out at another time. Now this looks a little messy, so let's go ahead and line everything up so it all is the same. And fields, top, okay. And there we go. We put added all these new elements. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. And there we go. That's the easiest way to add elements to your statement super bill or even your HICVAs. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!